Hello, Bill here and Josh for Bill's History and Wargaming World, and I have Josh here at the Battle of Chancellorsville. Josh, take it away. You want to go up to the sign and tell us where we're at? Absolutely. And you got to talk loud. On this, this beautiful day in August, we're here in uh, Chancellorsville, the bustling metropolis that is Chancellorsville. Um, here is where General Hooker was uh, outflanked by Stonewall Jackson probably because he was too busy with his hookers but uh you know all right well let's go take a look at the chancellorsville uh the little home and i'll pause it here and we'll get up closer and uh we do have some cloudy skies but it's supposed to clear up well here we are at one of the chancellorsville uh signage uh posts with uh the intersection uh Josh, why don't you do the narration of uh, where we're at here real quick in our map. Do you want me to just read the sign? or? Oh, well, you can point over here. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a great team effort for this video. Uh, now, we were thinking of calling Jack in Arizona and telling him we're here, but it's like 3 in the morning. In Arizona. In Arizona. Yeah. So, Jack, um, we thought of calling you up and bugging you. So um, let's continue walking around our uh, the Chancellorsville area. Josh, what's our sign say anyhow? Uh, it says the intersection in front of you was the focal point of the Chancellorsville battlefield. From here, roads radiated in five directions. Four of them are visible. The fifth river road lies just beyond the trees to your left. From this intersection on May 1st, Union troops advanced eastward to your left in a failed attempt to get behind the Confederates at Fredericksburg. The Chancellor family's house dominated the intersection, which had become known as Chancellorsville. For three days, Union Commander Joseph Hooker directed his army from the building, but on May 3rd, victorious Confederates swarmed over this ground, pursuing Hooker and his defeated army as they retreated to a new line farther north, leaving behind what had become one of the most famous intersections in America. Wow. All right, let's uh, do some video up close and see what else is out here. Well, we are uh, facing, looking west. This is where the, the Confederates drove on the right flank of Hooker's army. Lee's greatest triumph. The signs here are really nice here at Chancellorsville. And uh, well worth the visit. For my friend Chris of VA Travels, who I, uh, we really like his videos. They're much better than mine. But Chris, this is a 10-pounder parrot with a reinforced reach. And over here we have a 3-inch rifle. So, we got, uh, we're going to go look at the Chancellorsville home site. We have Josh visited the burial site of two infants. 1912 and 1915. It looks like that's made out of wood, too. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. It does. Huh. Well, and the Chancellorsville intersection is just as busy now as it was in 1863 in May. <laughs> Except for there's not a ton of Union soldiers running down the road screaming for their lives. I could have brought my Union kit. I'm just letting this video go. It's going to be a rough video cut. I'm not going to edit it. So it is what it is. We have some nice uh, signs here. Uh, here we have the Chancellor's House. The place is huge. Huge during the Civil War. Plus it had a lot of outbuildings. Let's see them out here. Um, all that's left of the Chancellorsville home now is that. And uh, just the outline. And like with many Civil War historic sites, we have to remember the enslaved people that uh, kept a lot of these homes and mansions running and uh, all their sacrifice that they uh, endured 
uh, being enslaved for all those years. So we got Joshua walking around. I'm going to pause the video here and catch up with him. Our uh, morning is clearing, by the way, and we're supposed to have beautiful weather for the rest of our day here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, before we head to see the news. So we have the original building, late 1700s, and that's this section. And then off to our left, we have the Chancellorsville Inn, which is the section of 1815, it says. And Josh, what do we have over here? Chancellorsville Inn, built in 1815, and then building additions circa the 1840s are behind it there. Okay. And then off to the uh, left of the original building was another sign for the Chancellorsville Inn for 1815. Oh. So during the uh, Chancellorsville wilderness, out there was a lot of woods, and Stonewall Jackson and his Union troops or Confederate troops, excuse me, plowed into the Union troops of Howard's 11th Corps and rolled up the right flank of the Union Army like a wet blanket. And they went running down the road that way. So, Josh, I think that's it for this video. I think so. so uh, from Bill and Josh in Chancellorsville, Virginia, we're going to say stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Hopefully you can hear me over all the traffic. And uh, stay tuned for more exciting videos. Well worth the drive. Absolutely.